everyone and welcome back to my channel. I don't know about any of you, but I am just so done with everything that is going on right now. But everything is going to be okay because today we're going to play a really cute virtual pet. If you watched my last virtual pet vlog, which was about Digimon, at the end you saw that I alluded to something exciting happening in this vlog. And um, nothing is going okay right now, so I'm not sure if that will happen. But let's go ahead and talk about the virtual pet that we're going to be playing today. So here we have the Little Mermaid Virtual Friends Pet by Thinkway Toys. This is actually one of my childhood virtual pets. I haven't played it in... 20 years. The green one is technically mine. Uh, unfortunately, we're not going to be playing this specific one though. I put batteries in it earlier today and the screen was just like artifacting and it was making a bunch of weird sounds. However, my sister's, the pink one, uh, does seem to be working properly and I'm sure she won't mind. I don't even think she knows that I have it. So we'll be playing this one today. I remember two things about this pet growing up. The first one is that you have to do water changes and it kind of has a fun animation if I'm recalling correctly. And then the second one is it, it actually has like a pause option. You know, with the original Tamagotchi, you could kind of like change the time as a pause, but this one you can actually go in and select pause. But otherwise, I don't remember anything about it. What great things to remember about a toy. Uh, but I did look at the packaging online and there are four different pets you can raise in this. A fish, crab, seahorse, and jellyfish. And then the packaging also boasts, and I'm quoting, extensive lifelike animation. Well, I guess we're gonna have to be the judges of how lifelike the animation is. So let's go ahead and get this pet set up. This pet takes two LR44 batteries. We'll just get the back screwed on quickly here. I know my green one, I accidentally have stripped the screw. That was probably something my younger self did on accident. And then we have our, I guess it's an egg. It just kind of looks like a blob. Lifelike graphics, remember? We'll do pounds. And then it's about noon right now. And now we have our guppy. So first let's take a look at the menu because I'm going to need a refresher as well. So it looks like we have food, sleep maybe, temperature, and I believe that's a water change. It's like a water faucet. Not sure what the shell is. A question mark. Not sure what the question mark is. And time. And then must be strength training. Let's start with some food. And then we have skip is the third one and enter is the farthest one. Water change. Oh, let's clean the water. So lifelike. <laughs> I love it though. I, I, I just kid. Now let's talk about that special thing that was supposed to happen. So, sea monkeys. I have been obsessed with sea monkeys my entire life. I have no idea like where it, that started with me, but I do remember picking up my first blue tank at Hobby Lobby, and I had a couple different tanks growing up, but my blue one I know I kept for at least two years. And for a while now, I've been thinking it would be fun to set up my small spare aquarium here in my apartment and just make it like a frickin' sea monkey brine shrimp paradise. Last week I got to thinking, since we're all just stuck inside, wouldn't now be the perfect time to watch an entire tank of aquatic crustaceans grow? Yes, of course! So I ordered the brine shrimp eggs off the internet and they were supposed to arrive yesterday, so I spent a ton of time cleaning my my regular fish tank setup because I needed to use the heater off that setup and the sea monkey setup, and then I put a different heater in that one. That doesn't sound like very much, but I spent like four hours doing it. Uh, so once I got to setting up the sea monkey's tank, I put water and everything in it, and then I realized it was fractured in many, many places. 
So I had to scrap the idea of my paradise and using that nice tank. Well, it's not nice anymore because it's cracked. Uh, but then I decided I would just use one of these small sea monkey tanks. Whatever, I'll make it work. Then when the package arrived last night, I opened it up and it was lens cleaning cloths. I accidentally got someone else's package, so now they have to get my package to me. Uh, so as of right now, there are no sea monkey eggs for the paradise tank that doesn't exist. I'm just really sad. This was like the one thing I was really looking forward to, but that's okay. We're still going to carry on, we're going to play our Little Mermaid virtual pet, and if the sea monkeys decide to show up, they decide to show up. That'll be great, but if not, we'll just keep on keeping on. I think that's like the entire theme of the whole world right now, just like, keep on keeping on in your house. Don't leave your house, please. Look what came in the mail. So we officially have our brine shrimp eggs. I have a little tank for them set up right here. I'm sorry, this area is kind of noisy. So you can see I have my main tank down there. And then of course this tank also has an air pump attached to it. I just checked the water temperature a second ago and it's about 86 degrees. The packaging for the eggs says they can hatch in 77 to 86. However, I'm gonna wait a second for it to go down just a little bit because I'm worried I'm gonna fry them at 86. Then tomorrow we'll quickly take a look at the tank. I'm not sure if we'll see anything right away because these guys are pretty small to begin with, but they grow quite quickly. Good morning, it is now day two. I just woke up and it looks like our fish, maybe that's what we have now. It looks like they're a little bit distressed. So let's try doing a water change. They look significantly happier, but they still need something. So lifelike. I totally forgot about that option, but that was really cute. We should probably get some food in them as well. And then we can go ahead and check their stats here. I'm sure they're gonna need some happiness. They're definitely going to need some happiness. Oh, their health is not good. I'm going to try adding more water. I'm not sure what that number means. Um, that 15, 15 doesn't mean anything to me. <laughs> Well, we stayed at 15, so I'm thinking 15 must be the fullest that we can get. Then we'll try doing another clean. Well, that looked like it didn't affect our health, so I'll have to think of some other ways to try. I did try to find a manual for this online, but I couldn't quite find one. Uh, so I'm just kind of winging it, which is totally okay. It seems to be going well. Um, I think, at least I would guess, this is probably one of the easier virtual pets out there to take care of, considering it's geared towards such small children. But I'm going to go ahead and work on this fish's happiness, and I will check in with you all in a little bit. I'm very happy to report that our brine shrimp have hatched. Honestly, last night I was a little worried that they weren't going to pull through for us, uh, but they did, and they're so cute, and there's so many of them. Today is day four. I actually had this pet on pause all day yesterday. Um, I, I just needed to. I think this um, situation in the world is affecting everyone differently. And for me, I just need a break from everything. And this pet, for as simple as it is, and the fact that we've already evolved into the final stage, it's kind of difficult to keep happy. Uh, so let's go ahead and check where our stats are right now. So we could use a little bit of food, we definitely could use some happiness, and our health is okay, not great. Now let's start with food, and the game did change when we evolved, and in my opinion, it's slightly better. It's a little less random. Oh, and we also did gain one um, game as well, so we'll start with this game. So instead of um, you just randomly stopping it to try to match the shape, now you can choose a shape to begin with. I always stick with this big shell. And then you have to match it. And I've kind of found that if you click when it's on, oh, it didn't let me. <laughs> I guess I talked too much. It just automatically chose for me. I found that when you click on the heart, it's 
usually uh, the best chance of matching. Now the speed is variable a little bit, so sometimes just choosing the heart isn't perfect, um, but that's kind of what's been helping me get through this. Now for the other game, which is our strength training game, and I believe this game is different uh, depending on which creature you evolve into, at least that's what the packaging made it sound like. Uh, but basically you swim and you have to uh, swim upwards to catch the ring and you're timed and my best I think is, oh I totally missed it, my best I think is um, three in the time that they allow. But that's about all that's changed since the second day. So this pet is super, super cute. I love the Little Mermaid theme, and I really love the shell-shaped shell. That is so cool. Um, but it's pretty simple. I don't think I would necessarily... Oh, that time is definitely not right. Oh, well. Um, I don't think I would recommend it to someone that's really looking for in-depth gameplay. Uh, however, if you're looking something that for something that's really easy to take care of, something that you can easily pause, or maybe something uh, for like a kid's first virtual pet, or for your own first virtual pet, I do think this would be a good option. A quick update on the brine shrimp. They do appear to be doing very well. I did move a bunch of them over to a different tank because I did not want this main one to get too crowded. So if it looks like there aren't as many as there were in yesterday's video, don't worry, they're still alive, I just moved them around a little bit. Thank you all so much for joining me today for this quick virtual pet vlog. It was really cool to revisit this uh, to kind of see what it's like through an adult's eyes. But for now, I think I am going to take the batteries out of this and move on for it for the time being. It would be fun to raise the pet a few more times to try to get each character that's available, but I don't think that's a project for this week. I think it's finally time to play the Music Star. I am so excited, a little nervous because I did a small test run, um, but I didn't end up playing the Music Star for very long. For me, that's kind of been the theme of 2020. I don't really want to get into it right now, but like many of you, I know many of you struggle with these things as well, um, dealing with anxiety and depression. It affects everyone differently. Uh, some people run to their virtual pets to help. I kind of run away from them. Uh, so I, I am sorry that that does kind of have like a negative effect on my channel. But in other ways, I'm not sorry because I do believe that you should never have to apologize for things that you're struggling with that you didn't necessarily choose to struggle with. And I think as a community, many of us are closer because we all have similar struggles. So I'm going to face my fears and I'm going to play that music star <laughs> and it's going to be great and I hope you all join me for it. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Discord. All links will be in the description box below. I would love to connect with you on one of those platforms as well. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.